This assignment couldn't wait, so he asked me to dish it out to you. Oh, okay, shoot. Did you ever take the wrong direction on a one-way street? Don't tell me the commissioner wants me to fix a traffic ticket for him. <laughs> no. This one-way street starts in the slave labor camps in Eastern Europe and extends west to the few who make it alive. <laughs> Nobody in his right mind would want to travel in the wrong direction on a street like that. If somebody did try to break through and get into one of those camps, what do you think his chances would be? <laughs> That's easy. Goodbye, Sam. <laughs> You mean goodbye, Steve. Hey, look. Why am I so tired of living? You remember a man named Sardov? Yeah, he was one of their big shots until they bumped him off because he had a change of heart. We found out this morning that Sardov somehow managed to survive. Oh? He's in a slave labor camp at Rovna in Eastern Europe. He's working in a strategic mine under assumed name. Needless to say, they're not aware of his identity. Strategic mine? <laughs> Well, it's a cinch. They got two guards every square foot. Steve, Sardov wants to talk. The information he has is vital. He can furnish us with a timetable of aggression that'll tip us off to all the potential weak spots. Yeah, but how am I supposed to get in there? Well, you're going to report to Davis in Berlin. And these dice will be your calling card. Show them to Sardov with the fives up. That'll identify him. Get over there, Steve. Get into that mine and find out everything you can about Sardov. And try to get back alive. <laughs> well, that's it. Toss him for luck, will you, Bill? Yeah. Snake eyes. Well, good luck anyway. Mm -hmm. Fly to Berlin, then head east, slip into a strategic mine at a slave labor camp and talk to a gent who's just busting out all over with red-hot information. Then slip out again, preferably alive, a real sweetheart. It's Thursday when my plane lands in Berlin. Our agent Davis meets me and takes me to a neighborhood that looks like the German version of Skid Row. There he deposits me with a character named Honest Jan Rublescu who's made quite a name for himself whisking people across borders. And so, my friend, you could not be in better hands for your journey to Ravna. Save the salesmanship, Jan. I've heard of you as a successful smuggler. Ah, 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 please. Nothing has ever been proven. That's what I mean. Successful. Oh, not only successful, but the very best. <laughs> You're not exactly handicapped by modesty, are you? Ah, modesty is for the peasant. For why should a great artist be modest? An artist, yes. Of course. Last week was my crowning achievement. I uh, smoke. <laughs> I exported an entire family out across the border. <laughs> That's been done before, genius. Including the house? Uh, well, don't, don't ask me how. That's a trade secret. And then, of course, there was a time when I really... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now, look. Jan, what's the setup on this deal? All right. I tell you all I know. This man, Sardov, works in a slave labor mine near the village of Rovna. This mine is a barbed wire fortress complete with searchlights and machine gun towers. I suppose we walk right in the front gate. You will walk through the front gate. It's my job to take you to a certain house in Rovna. And if you can get in and out of the mine alive, I'll take you back. But don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Eastern Europe is beautiful around this time of the year. This trip will be the most...
interesting one. And the girls, oh, la, la, la. Oh, oh. Look funny, man. Being a clown may be all right in your business, but a clown can get careless. On this trip, the results are much more important than the laughs. Do we understand one another? No. We do not understand each other, but maybe we should before we start. Sometimes it pays to be a clown, my friend. It certainly helps one momentarily to forget such things as wife and daughter somewhere to the east. Dead? I don't know. But each trip I take, it's with a thought that I might find them. Sorry. Well, Steve, you're a courageous man. It would be a pleasure to die with you. Now, change your clothes. In one hour, be at the street corner three blocks north of here. I will meet you there. What time is it? 4 a.m. Ah, it's not so good. It took us longer than I expected. There's a 10 p.m. curfew here. Anyone found on the street is shot, then questioned. Where are we heading? To Miner's home. His name is Kula. He lives about half a mile away. East German police. They are not nearly so ambitious. Who is it? Rublescu and Mitchell. You came a day early. At Mr. Mitchell's insistence, this business is most urgent. Believe me, that's nothing. It's fortunate you came a day earlier. I'm being transferred to another mine. Oh, Steve Mitchell, this is Vacek, my assistant. How do you do? You will take his place in the mine today. Working permit, and your picture has been substituted. A guide meets me in Berlin, a miner meets me in Rovna, now I got a work permit with my picture. I feel like a quarterback that doesn't know the signals. <laughs> my apologies for the secrecy, Mr. Mitchell. But the secret police are very efficient and very capable of obtaining information from prisoners. We can't take a chance on anybody knowing too much. It doesn't make for a successful operation. I hope the success of the operation won't depend upon what I know about mining. You will be given simple tasks today. I will be back tomorrow night at 6. Steve, you understand I can afford only to wait a few minutes. I hope you'll be there so we can take the trip back together. You hope. <laughs> Now, let us get down to business. <clears throat> I had to take Vachik into our confidence since you're taking his place at the mine today. Well. Yeah. Now, study this careful, Mitchell. This is a sketch of the labor camp in the mine. Here are the guard towers, the machine guns, the searchlights over here, the fence, the barbed wire. Looks like a concentration camp. A uh, concentration of the worst sort, my friend. Here is the main gate by which you will enter in a couple of hours with the rest of the miners. Once inside the camp, will you be able to recognize Sarlov? I've never seen him. Then how will you locate him? I dropped the word to the grapevine. They will point him out. Are you certain that Sardov is one of the prisoners? There's no doubt about it. Thank you. That is all I wish to know. Vachik, have you lost your mind? I am sure they will pay me a great deal of money for Mitchell. And also to know that Sardov is a prisoner. Much more money than I've been getting as your assistant, Kulak. You can only shoot one of us, Vashak. The other will get you. I will shoot you first, Mitchell. You will be worth nearly as much dead as alive. And how much will you be worth, dead comrade? And he actually thought he could shoot faster than I. Clearly insane. 
Wait. This is not the place. It was farther down the street. It came from this house. It was farther down the street. While we wait, they will get away. Come. Not that you aren't welcome, but why did you come back? I never left. You suspected him? Why, of course. When I'm leaving, I noticed a slight bulge in his pocket. So I ask myself, why would a man have a bulge in his pocket? I get evasive answers, so I wait outside and see what will happen. Thanks, Jan. Included in the price. I think we'd better call the operation off. Huh? Call it off? Why? I told Vacek all I know this afternoon. He's very possibly told the authorities at the mine. I don't think so. It's too big. They wouldn't let him handle it all alone. Mm, it sounds logical, but if we're wrong, when we walk through the gate, we'll be walking into a death trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Jan, you think you could get rid of that body? Oh, elementary. Uh, look, Mitchell, I now don't look. know. There's no way that I can force you to go through this deal. But I've come a long way to see Sardoff, and I'm not going back without seeing him. If you want out, I'll have to find out some other way. You are determined to go through with this? What do you think? I think we'd better get ready. Oh. <sighs> Chief Guard, a very dangerous man. Did he know Vashek by sight? I doubt it. The miners are known to him, but not the assistants. Move along, Kulak. There's ore to mine today. Bulga knows who I am. Tell him I forced you to let me be your assistant. Don't get yourself involved. You. Who are you? Vashek. Let me see your identification card again. Loader, come here. Is this the one? Get him. You'll both follow me. Are you ready to confess? Confess? Filthy swine are going to lend the respect authority. Is this not your working area for the last two days? Yes. Does not Vacek do your drilling for you? Yes. Then he is the guilty one. We found these broken drills hidden behind those rocks. Because of his stupidity, two new drills must be bought. I'm setting an example of you two. You'll be fined half your week's pay until these drills are paid for. Is that clear? Yes. Then get back to work. And remember, be more careful with these drills. You buy all you pray. Shakes you up a little, huh? A little? <laughs> My insides feel like they were on a pogo stick. <laughs> How long does this go on? Oh, about noon. Three more hours. <laughs> when do I meet Sardoff? Hey, what's that? The horn. Three 
blasts means we have five more minutes in our lunch period. One long blast means there's trouble, an escape perhaps, or even a prisoner's riot. They say when that horn will be permanently silenced, we will have freedom again. But come, let us eat. We haven't got much time. Boiled beets, boiled meat. Hey, what kind of meat is this anyway? Horse meat. And in this case, a very old horse. Poor devils. Makes it feel like tearing the joint apart, stone by stone. In your cuff, there's a piece of paper. The old man put it there. Sardoff has been found. He's the guy that serves the food. He'll be coming back soon. You know, all of a sudden I'm hungry for some more of this lunch. serving the person. Just a little more. It'll be dark at 5.30. I'll meet you back at the guard barracks. There'll all be a dinner then. You'll have 30 minutes to check out at the gate. You know the rules here. Only one serving the person. Lucan! Vacek recently worked at Nadia. There they had second helpings. This is not Nadia. Already today you have caused trouble, and now it starts again. You better watch out, Vacek. I know you're on our team, but there's something I don't understand. Hmm? You know what the setup is here. You know what this uranium is used for, and yet you help them mine it. Sometimes by helping, one can become the greatest hindrance. Sometimes maybe I should mind my own business. Listen. Huh? Tell the others quickly. Hey, what's the deal? Oh, the fools, the other fools. Come on, there's no time to lose. Deal. Something terrible has happened, Mitchell. I'm afraid the whole mission is ruined. Wait a minute. What's this all about? For months now, some of us have been planning to destroy one whole section of the mine. Well, that's great, but what's that got to do with me seeing Sardoff? Well, the sappers had orders not to set it up until after you had seen Sardoff. But there's been a slip up and it's going to go off any second. Yeah, I'll... but wait a minute. Look, don't you see? The camp will become a hornet's nest. Everybody will be checked and rechecked. Report at the gate immediately. There'll be no more work today. Sorry, Mitchell. You're sorry. If we don't report at the gate, they'll put out a searching party. You know what they do to a suspect. I got a 5.30 date with Sardoff. I'm gonna keep it. Don't be a fool. You're asking for sudden death. Look, I'll go as far as the surface with you. <coughs> I'm not going through that gate. The explosion. They're furious. They questioned his roll call. You're a marked man, Mitchell. 
you were missing at the checkout gate, and Boca's out to get you. He wants you dead or alive. He's offered a reward. Well, I guess I can drop that bar check gag. I don't think they know who you are, but your absence from checkout makes you the guilty one. The punishment is the same. Well, on that note, it's here. Let's... Come on, let's get down to business. <laughs> Would that be you, Mr. Vacek? Boga. Hello, Rugged. I hear you were looking for me. Since this morning I've wanted to kill you, I guess it's time! Now, Mitchell. Here is the paper. I have written down all the information. All the plans for the aggression in the Middle East, the overall policy. That's great. Okay. Okay. Come on. Let's go. I'm not going. What? You don't think I'm going to leave you and Kula here to take that rap for all of this, do you? Well, as for Kulak, no one can prove his complicity. And nobody knows of my association with you either. I have another year to serve my sentence and establish my new name. There's much work I can do. Goodbye. And good luck. Same to you, believe me. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. By the tree over there is a car. Why walk when you can ride? No. Clack of the wheels. What heavenly music. Especially when they're headed west. Mm -hmm. That's been a strenuous trip for you, Steve. Yeah, but this will make it all worthwhile. Oh, by the way, will you do me a favor? Why, of course. You ever get back in that neck of the woods, return these to Sardoff, will you? Might be able to use them from time to time. <laughs> well, in one hour we will reach... Berlin? Is that bad? No, no, I... Uh... What's the matter? Steve, before we part, I have a confession to make. Shoot? Remember that entire family, including the house I moved? Over the border? <laughs> yeah, that I gotta tell the commissioner. <laughs> I didn't. I moved the border over. <laughs> Steve. Hmm. Don't tell the commissioner. For business reasons. 